Lenovo makes some pretty big claims with its ThinkPad P14's Generation 2, saying that it is a portable mobile workstation. On the surface, this looks to be true, as the laptop is equipped with a vPro certified processor and NVIDIA Quadro graphics. However, look a bit deeper and you find that the Tiger Lake units that are advertised are the G-Series, which have up to 4 cores and 8 threads, as well as a 15 watts TDP. These CPUs don't mix well with high-intensity tasks, while the Quadro T500 has the same chip that is found on the GTX 1650 and the MX450 but has a TGP that is more similar to the MX450. That said, you still get access to a 4K display. Today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the Lenovo ThinkPad P14s Generation 2. With this being a ThinkPad laptop, you get a spill-resistant keyboard with a backlight. It also comes with a super long key travel, despite the body being only 17.9mm thick. The feedback is also surprisingly clicky. The unit also features a red nipple, which works in tandem with a set of physical buttons above the touchpad. Speaking of the touchpad, it gets the Lenovo treatment, which consists of a mylar surface finish, while offering smooth gliding and accurate tracking. The clicking mechanism also works really well. The laptop is available with either an full HD or a 4K display, both coming with a 14-inch diagonal and an IPS panel. Our laptop used the former option, which was pretty good. The panel has excellent viewing angles, a maximum measured brightness is 407 nits in the middle of the screen and 397 nits average across the surface with a maximum deviation of 5%, and a 1450 to 1 contrast ratio, which is very good. The panel covers 89% of the sRGB color gamut. The panel doesn't have accurate color representation with the stock settings, but once we applied our design and gaming profile, things improved significantly. You can compare the results of our test with the stock settings, left, and with our profile applied, right. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. While the battery size leaves things to be desired, the 50 watt hours unit works really well with the power efficient processors, delivering 12 hours and a half of web browsing, and 9 hours and 52 minutes of video playback. Now, we conduct the battery tests with Windows Better Performance setting turned on, screen brightness adjusted to 120 nits, and all other programs turned off except for the one we are testing the notebook with. The laptop has a lot of ports, despite its 14-inch form factor. Somehow, Lenovo has managed to fit in a total of two USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 ports, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.0 connector, a micro SD card reader, an Ethernet port, a 3.5mm audio jack, a smart card reader, an optional SIM card tray, and a docking station connector. The cooling solution is nothing spectacular, featuring two bulky heat pipes which work in tandem for both the CPU and GPU. They connect to a single fan. There are also several heat spreaders over the VRM modules and the graphics memory. While the temperatures here don't seem that bad, the CPU can't maintain its base clock for prolonged tasks, dipping well below 3.00 GHz. While the max temperature shown here is 77 degrees Celsius, we recorded spikes of up to 90 degrees Celsius. The hot spot of the laptop was just on the edge of going over 40 degrees Celsius. Also, the fans were quite loud, 